Natural Killer Cells and Reproduction Embryo implantation in the mother's uterus is a transcendental phenomenon in human survival and evolution. Many of the processes that regulate it have already been described, however, there is still a lot to understand. The human embryo, genetically speaking, results from the chromosomal combination of the egg and sperm, and is therefore a new individual. It is essential for this new individual, with genetically different material, at least 50%, to be able to successfully adhere to an implant in the tissue of the mother's uterus without the defense mechanism, immune system rejecting it, as may be the case in organ transplants, for example. This phenomenon is known as immune tolerance to pregnancy. Based on this biological premise, it is reasonable to think that in patients that don't achieve pregnancy after several in vitro fertilization treatments, that is, repeat implantation failure, a causal factor may be an increased maternal immunological action against the embryo that rejects its implantation. Studies in patients with RIF show an increase in cells responsible for the immune rejection called natural killer cells, both in the maternal blood and endometrium, place of implantation. Therefore, within the specific protocol for studying the patient with RIF, the evaluation of NK cells in blood or endometrium biopsy could be useful in discriminating this phenomenon as a cause of reproductive failure. More recently, it was stated that it is also useful to assess the degree of activation of the NK cells, meaning their predisposition to reject, which can be achieved by measuring the values of the cells called NKCD69+. The Institute of Bernabeu Reef Unit, together with the specialized technical support of IB Biotech, has the technology needed to determine NK cells in peripheral blood, such as in the endometrium. The determination of these values is part of the specific and personalized protocol for our patients with multiple implantation failures.